they had to do dirt on your name. They didn't think that you were going to develop through the dirt. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a seed. Folks, I'm going to need for y'all to stay tuned at the end of this video. I'm not going to hold y'all any longer, and I'm not going to say the catchphrases. Let's just get right into it. Folks, listen up. A lot of people throw dirt on your name because they see you going somewhere in life. But see, they want to stop you. But see, the dirt that they are throwing on your name is helping you grow. Remember, your haters make you greater. That's what a wise man had told me. Haters make you even more greater. So when they throw this dirt on your name, they're making your name even more greater. See, people don't know how God works. God will allow these people to throw dirt on your name for them to dirty it up so he can clean you up right in front of these very people and give you a new name right in front of these very people. But see, you are a seed. In order to grow in life, you got to have some dirt thrown on you. You understand? You got to have some dirt thrown on you, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you got haters. Haters are going to make you even more grow. Believe it or not, or like it or not, these haters are your motivationals. Haters are supposed to motivate you. So every time they're throwing dirt on your name, they are helping you grow. You see, ladies and gentlemen, when you want to become something, whether you see it or not, other people see it. And what I'm talking about is they see your potential. And a lot of people wish that it never existed. So they want to do all this slander, all these lies. They want to do everything that's to make you look bad. They want to assassinate your character. They want to assassinate your reputation. So what they do is dig up these lies that they thought of. They get in these little groups and try to, try to make the thing, try to make these lies even more believable. But the whole time they nothing but a fairy tale, a damn lie, a doggone fiction. It ain't real. So they get all this dirt and throw it on you. They throw it on your name. But they forgot the fact that it is that you are a seed. You can overcome this. Everything at life they had thrown on you, guess what? You overcame it and you go through it. If you want to plant a garden or you want to plant a flower, that flower, before that flower grow, guess what? It is a seed, ladies and gentlemen. It is a seed. And all for that seed to grow, guess what? It got to have some dirt thrown on it. And of course, you got to water it. But here's why I'm about to break it down to y'all. Even though that you are a seed, a lot of your enemies, a lot of your haters, your naysayers, is throwing dirt on your name. But at the same time, you are working and developing through the dirt. So while they throwing dirt on your name, guess what? You, you are working towards and getting out of that dirt. Which means you finna put in the work and all this dirt they throwing on you. You finna overcome all that dirt and finna be coming to a successful, beautiful flower. Understand where I'm coming from, ladies and gentlemen. Ha! These haters don't have no idea of what you about to what you about to be. They had no idea what you're about to accomplish. They have no idea of what you're about to become right now. But by they thinking that you're going to stay buried down there, the devil is a liar. Because you finna fool all of them. Every single last one, they finna get, they finna get in shock right now. Extremely shocked right now. A lot of your haters didn't think that you were going to be a warrior and overcome this. They go throw tons and tons and tons of dirt on you. But let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Long as you working, and long as you develop and do the dirt, I don't care how much dirt they have thrown on your name. It's going to be other people that going to see the good in you. It's going to be some other people that are going to see the bad in you. But guess what? The same people that see the bad in you, these were the same ones that was throwing dirt on your name 
I understand where I'm coming from, ladies and gentlemen. The ones that look at you crazy. The ones that me mug you for no apparent reason. Those are the same ones that is in secret competition with you. And the ones that are in secret competition with you be the main ones that doing dirt on your name. But that's the day society. When they see somebody else finna rise up, they want to throw dirt on their name. That's to make them look bad. That's to make them want to throw in the towel. But deep down inside that person, it fires them up. It motivates them. It makes them even more greater and greater. Even more greater. Capital G, greater. And your hate is too stupid to realize. The more dirt they put on your name, the more greater you becoming. Because the right people is going to see your work. They're going to see your potential. And while you're putting in this work, they is going to see your greatness. Like I told y'all, your haters is making you even more greater. And believe it or not, you may start off as a seed. But out through the years, you finna grow and grow and grow. Excuse me, and grow. But they don't like the fact that they had to do dirt on your name. And you came out of this as a warrior. You survived through all this. A lot of your so-called friends even do dirt on your name. Because they see that you finna go somewhere. They think, oh, I finna backstab him. Let me turn on him. Let me turn on her. So she won't be able to go where she want in life. Alright, one answer. Now they too embarrassed because no matter what had happened in that person's life, they still kept going. Whatever you try to assassinate this person's character, you try to turn other people against them, you turn their cheek, they turn their cheek on you, but guess what? You never stopped. You never gave up. So guess what? All the people that do dirt on your name got to sit back and be embarrassed and watch you grow and grow and become even more successful, even more greater. A lot of your haters did not see this coming. A lot of them is drowning in their sorrows because they are seeing you elevating, getting out of that dirt slowly. And remember, success, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the saying? Success does not come overnight. And while you were going through this dirt, it didn't happen just in one day or in one night. It took some months and years. But you did it. But even though you're still going through the dirt, you're still going to become a, a successful, beautiful flower. And your haters are pissed off and mad at the fact that it is. They couldn't stop you. They couldn't do nothing to stop you. Now they got to sit back and watch you evolve in life. But that's what they get. That's their karma. For trying to assassinate your character. Trying to assassinate your name. It makes me laugh. Where haters, your haters, try to assassinate you. Try to mess up your reputation. And then when they get around the right people. The right people is going to see the truth in them. The greatness in them. The talent in them. Now this person going to end up wanting to link up with them. Want to network with them. Want to make some cheddar with them. And by cheddar I mean cash. But your haters. It always come back to them. When they try to assassinate your character. They will end up assassinating their own selves. People really forget that you've been through a lot in life. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but somebody that is reading this, I mean, excuse me, somebody that's watching this video, you have been through something. Whatever you want to admit it or not, you are a warrior. You have became a strong, mighty warrior. All the dirt that these haters or life have put on you, you have... You have overcame that. Been there, done that. This ain't nothing new to you. Even though a lot of people had tried to gang up on you in a spiritual way. Trying to make you give up on your goals and dreams. But it did not work. 
because you kept on growing. You kept evolving. You kept thriving. You kept elevating. And you kept on delivering. But your haters, they don't understand the fact that you was a dog on seed from the very start. And they forget to realize a seed can outgrow anything. I don't care how much dirt you put on that seed. You can't overgrow it. The model, what I'm trying to say is, I don't care what you go through in life, you can't overcome it. You just got to have the mental strength. You got to have it because if you don't, hey, you know. But if you're mentally strong, you are not life kick you in and behind. You will not these you will not let these haters get the best of you. You will not let these haters defeat you. Let them talk about you. Let them put so much dirt on your name. Cause that only gonna make you even more greater. And greater. And even more greater. But I want all of you that's watching this video keep on working. Keep thriving, keep surviving out here. Because all your warriors, true chosen ones, will understand where I'm coming from. Understand what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care how much, I don't care how bad they talked about you. I don't care how many people turned against you because of their lies. Let me correct that. Of their miserable lies. These lies. These lies ain't going to do nothing but come back and bite your enemies on the butt cheek. And the truth is eventually going to come out. Because all these lies they're throwing on your name. Constantly, constantly, and constantly, and constantly. You finna outgrow that. Your head is trying to put you through a lot of hell. Now they going through hell. If you being lied on right now. If your name being thrown on dirt right now, you are going to overcome that, ladies and gentlemen. So don't you even worry about that, because God got you. In the end, when it's all said and done, you was the one that put in the work. You was the one that got up and said, you know what? I'm not going to let this stop me. I'm a doggone warrior. Life had thrown a lot of obstacles at me. Life had thrown a lot of dirt at me. But guess what? I'm still standing tall. I'm still standing strong. So I can overcome this. I can survive this. And that fires them up even more because if that would have been them, Lord have mercy. Y'all know what they had would have had done. They would have had gave up. But they wanted you to give up. We're going to throw dirt on his or her name so they could just give up and fold up. Er, one answer again. You didn't do none of that. Your enemies wanted you to fail. They wanted you to slip up. They wanted you to give up when other people had turned their back on you. But here's the funny part, though. Even though everybody had turned... Well, not everybody, but... Even though some people had turned their back on you, you still kept on thriving. Through the dirt, through the mud, through it all. All of it. You felt like the world was against you, but you still kept on working, putting in the work. That dirt that they threw it on your name only became, only helped you become more stronger and stronger and even more stronger. So guess who got the last laugh now? You did. In the end, the very end where it's all said and done, when you come out of that dirt and become something successful, Successful? Guess who's going to have the last laugh? You are. So all this dirt they are throwing on you, ladies and gentlemen, ain't never helping you grow. So you got to thank your haters. Give them a round of applause. But help you come even more greater. Nigga Minaj even said it. Your haters are your motivation. Your motivationals. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Is listen to the song Moment for Life, Nicki Minaj. Shout out to my haters. You can't even face me. 
your haters could not even face you. They tried by doing all this dirt on your name. But your haters, once again, is too doggone stupid to realize that the more dirt they putting on you, the more greater you're going to become. But they're too blinded by jealousy and envy to even think, I'm making him famous. I'm making him, I mean, excuse me, I'm making her famous. i just making them even more greater. Let me just stop before I embarrass myself. But they don't even care about that. They really to do anything to put themselves out there just to get some clout. They will do anything, say anything on your name just to make themselves look good. But let me tell y'all something. Your haters is going to self-destruct. They finna get embarrassed. And not only that, the same people that turned their back on you, they gonna wish like hell. They should have never listened to that idiot or that clown. Because all this dirt that that's doing on you, it is helping you. It is helping you and helping you to pour more fuel into your fire. Y'all know y'all put some gasoline on the concrete and you light it up and then boom. That's how they doing you. You are the gasoline. And all they're doing is pouring all that fire into your fume, into the gasoline. As soon as they put that match down, boom! You finna explode right in front of their very faces. Tell them Hayes to get back because you finna explode. And tell them, when I show, I mean, excuse me, when I blow up, you about not show up. Y'all say it with me. When I blow up, you about not show up. Or say it like this. Don't show up when I blow up. Because all the times that they were doing these lies on your name. Try to turn other people against you. Try to turn the whole world against you. You still will win and believe it or not. Because what they were doing. Focusing on your life 24 hours. While you were behind the scenes. Working in silence. Moving in silence. And what they were doing. Sitting back studying you. Sitting back watching your life. Sitting back trying to see what type of life they can create just to make you look bad. But as time goes on, sooner or later, these lies is going to catch up to these people. The truth is going to eventually come out. So don't worry about the dirt that's being thrown on your name. You just keep on working and keep thriving. And I promise you, you will get through this. And when you get through this, Watch what I tell you. God is going to give you a whole nother name. He's going to take that dirty name that these enemies had tried to dirty up. He's going to clean it up real nice. He's going to make your name shiny. I'm talking about so doggone shiny. It's going to be shining bright in a 24 karat diamond. I understand where I'm coming from. You finna be shining brighter than a diamond. Brighter than the sun and brighter than a doggone moon. And the next time your haters see you, your enemies see you, you're going to be unrecognizable to these people. They're going to be in so much shock. But folks, with that being said, I will catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.